My brother has an impulse control problem. He has a thing for the women. His brothers are in love with him. Rex is not you, and I am not Nicole. And Eric doesn't have a thing for me. How can you be so sure about that? Because he told me point blank. I admitted to him that I have feelings for him, and he made it very clear it does not go both ways, and that he only sees me as a friend and nothing more. Didn't look that way a couple minutes ago. I'm going to let you in on a little tidbit, just in case you're too pig-headed to accept it. Eric is not over Nicole. I don't think he ever will be. So whatever you thought you saw meant nothing. Yeah, you say so. I do say so. Rex and I are back together, and I want to keep it that way. Both hate that's not up to me. See, it kind of is. I need you to forget whatever ridiculous, unfounded theories you have about Eric and me and not say anything to Rex. Oh, hey, Sarah. Rex. Hi. What's up? I didn't know you were working here. Yeah, I decided to stick around Salem. Today's actually my first day at the hospital. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. So this is Ben. Ben, this is my cousin Rex. Ben, nice to meet you. Hey. Whoa, Sam. Okay. Um, <laughs> what happened here? Um, well, did you hear about the shooting over at the Demera mansion? Yes, so intense. That was the Mexican drug cartel going up to Chloe again, right? And I read you two were there? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, thank God no one was seriously hurt, though. But Ben worked security over there at the mansion, and he cut his hand on some shattered glass, and I'm pretty sure it's infected. Pretty gross. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, let's absolutely take a look at this. Can you see your hand, man? Oh, yeah. And it's definitely infected. Okay. Can you throw some cream on it? Maybe prescribe me an antibiotic. I just gotta get back to work. Ben, I'm sorry. I can't let you go. I suspect there might be some tiny glass shards, like, deeply embedded in there. We gotta get those out. Plus, I wanna do some blood work and run your vitals. So, I know. I'm sorry. Can you guys hang out for a bit? I'll be right back. No problem. Thanks, Rex. You got it. Thanks, Rex. Why aren't you glad we came? I'm really glad we came. Oh, yeah. Throat. If you want me to even consider signing this thing, you better call your father and get him over here to negotiate some better terms because that ain't gonna cut it. What do you want, Leo? Well, I'd like a roll in the hay for old time's sake, but since that's probably not gonna happen. Have you spoken to Brady today? No, why? The DNA test I told you about, the one John ran to find out whether or not I was his son, it came back positive, which means we're family. So? So? Think about what I could do with all that information. I'm thinking tabloids, talk show, tell-all book. I'll be so busy with all that, the divorce would drag on for years. No one cares about your story. We just want you to go away. Well, then it sounds like you have a choice to make. Tack on a few more zeros to that number and we'll be out of each other's lives for good. Or don't. And Uncle Leo will make your life a living hell. Except, uh, he's not Uncle Leo. This has nothing to do with you. Stay out of it. Call your father. Now. Wait, Will, what, what are you saying? I'm saying Leo knows damn well he's not John's son. But the DNA test confirmed it. Only because his mother tampered with the results. I just found out this morning. But Leo knew before that, and now he's trying to bleed you dry before the truth comes out. If I don't give him money, he's going to take me to court. Oh, let him. There is not a judge on this planet that will give you a red cent. Leo has nothing. So, I mean, let him fight. Can't win. I know you're right, but think about what that means. A public trial. The media's gonna have a field day. It's gonna put so much stress on us and our family and tight. I just want this over. Well, we can end it right now. Just take that number and make it bigger. No, 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 no. Sonny, listen to me. Listen to me. Leo can keep running his schemes until the end of time, but not on us. It is over. He has nothing. No power, no leverage, no control. 
He does not get to tell us what we can 